everyone, this is Dave and welcome to TechFeed Weekly. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you three different networking solutions from TP-Link. Now they all offer up slightly different solutions to uh, different problems. The first one is the AV500 just sitting up here. This is a power line adapter starter kit. Then I'm gonna be moving on and showing you the eight port gigabit desktop switch. And then onto this big, big bad boy of a switch. This is a 16 port gigabit switch, which can either work on the desktop or indeed be rack mounted. So let's kick things off with a look at the AV500. So this is the TP-Link AV500. This is a starter kit. It's also known as the TLPA511 kit. Now, before I tell you what you get inside the box and how you're gonna use this in your setup, I wanna just let you know that it offers up to 500 megabits per second connection speed. That is really good for a power line adapter kit like this. Now you get everything you're gonna need inside the box to get you up and running with one additional connection. So what you get inside the box is two of these plug type adapters and you also get two ethernet cables as well. So everything you need to get up and running. Now this plugs in to your mains cabling, so your mains power socket. There's a three pin UK adapter on this one. If you're in the US, you're gonna get a two pin adapter and you're gonna get something that's specific to your country. So you plug this in near your router or your internet modem, so where the internet is coming into your building. And then on the bottom of the unit, we've got the ethernet socket and also a little pair button. You're gonna plug the uh, your existing internet connection into this ethernet socket here. And then at the other end, you're gonna repeat that action and connect to maybe your internet-based TV, or perhaps you've got a game console or a desktop PC, anything that you require the internet connection to be run to. Hit the pair button, the two units pair up. We've got some LED status lights on the front of the unit as well to let you know everything's working and then you're good to go. You've got internet access in that hard to reach room. Now, why would you do this? Why would you need one of these kits? Well, it's really simple. Perhaps you've got an outside room. Perhaps you've got a conservatory. Perhaps you've got that bedroom in the far corner of your house that you don't want to run a long, long run of ethernet cable to. This offers up a solution and it uses your existing house or buildings, mains cabling to actually get that connection. It works extremely well, comes in at around about the 59 pound mark. If you're in the US, that's about $85. And it really does offer up a good solution to get quick and easy internet access into other areas of your house. So next up, we're gonna show you a bit of a more conventional product. And this is the TP-Link eight port gigabit desktop switch. The model number on this one, TLSG108D. Now, why would you need one of these products? Well, very, very simple indeed. If you've got an internet connection coming into your house and you wanna share that out amongst other devices, or perhaps you wanna transfer files between a couple of desktop computers, or maybe working in a small sort of home office environment and you wanna get files across various machines, then this is gonna offer up a really decent solution. Now, let me show you the product itself. This is the eight port gigabit desktop switch. What's gonna amaze you, and you must watch till the end of this segment, is the price on this device. Now, it's a very, very pleasing looking device, nice black design. We've got some power and LEDs on the front to show which ports are in action and which are connected. Around the back of the device, we've got an input for the power cable, and also eight, yes, you heard me right, eight gigabit ethernet switches. On the bottom, we've got some sort of slip resistant rubber feet and also some little sort of holes here uh, for mounting it onto a wall or a desk. Perhaps you wanna mount it in a vertical position so that you can keep all your cables sort of hidden away. And you can connect various things into this switch and it really does work extremely well. Perhaps you've got a couple of desktop computers, perhaps you've got an ethernet printer uh, or perhaps you've got an ethernet scanner that you want to share between machines. Well, this will offer up all of that plus a little bit more. It's a very compact unit. It works extremely well and I've been really pleased with the speed that it's been working at. Now, you don't have to use it at gigabit speeds. If you've got 10 base T or 100 base T speed equipment, 
it will down switch to those speeds as well. Now I mentioned the price, and this is what amazes me with TP-Link's products. It feels really robust and very well made, yet it's only gonna cost you 25 pounds, and that's the equivalent of about $32 if you're in the US. That is what I call an absolute bargain, and it offers up eight gigabit Ethernet switches for that sort of price. Absolutely amazing, and a real uh, sort of gem of a find in the TP-Link range. Now, all of the products I've shown you so far in this episode offer up some green credentials as well. And what I mean by that is, is when they're not actually being used to their full power, they do actually switch down in power consumption. So the AV500 and the uh, eight port gigabit desktop switch both have reduced power consumption when they're not being fully used. And the same goes for the 16 port gigabit switch, which I'm gonna show you now. And this is a beast of a product. And, and again, you must stay with me right to the end of this segment to hear how much you're gonna pay for such an awesome piece of kit. So this is the TLSG1016D. And the 16 at the end gives away what it offers up. We've got 16 gigabit ethernet ports on here. This is a big piece of kit. It can be mounted on a desk or just rested on a desk like so, but it does come with some additional brackets, which allows it to be rack mounted as well. So this is really suited to somebody who maybe is a real power user and needs a lot of ethernet connections or really a sort of home office or small office or even larger office environment as well. We've got a whole plethora of link and activity LEDs and all of the uh, connections reside on the front of this unit. And this really gives uh, an indication that it is really suited to more of an office environment. And what I mean by that is, when you're using perhaps a desktop switch that I showed you earlier, all of the ports reside around the back. So you're gonna sort of sit it on a desk and then have all of the cabling going behind your desk out of harm's way. With this, this is all about being able to see what's connected and ev that everything's working properly. So all of the business end of the device is on the front and then around the back of the device, all we've got really is an earthing point and that input for the power cable. We've also got some nice sort of venting on both sides to allow for heat dissipation. This in my test worked extremely well. Uh, it's got a metal casing, very well built. And again, the throughput on this up to gigabit speeds and it manages my network activity uh, without any fault at all. Absolutely stunning piece of kit. Now I said to you, you had to watch till the end for the pricing on this. When you're looking at switches of this quality, you would expect to pay maybe 150 to 200 pounds. This is coming in at 58 pounds. I really don't know how TP-Link do it, but the pricing on this is absolutely superb. Now 58 pounds equates to around $75, I think that is an absolute steal and really does open it up to getting in a piece of kit like this into a home environment as well. I know it's designed for office uh, sort of use, but for me, I'm a bit of a geek. I love my uh, ethernet devices. I've got wires running around everywhere throughout the studio and the editing room. So something like this is a real, real bonus item that you can actually get it into your equipment setup for such a low cost. So that's it for this episode of Tech Feed Weekly. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.